Hi everyone, this is Mr Neil Writers here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. This is of a patient who had used a cotton swab, uh, known in the UK as a cotton bird. I also think it's called a Q-tip in America, in the States across the pond. And what the cotton swab has done, not only has it traumatised the patient's ear canal, it's really lodged this wax further and deeper into the ear, right onto their the eardrum and in the anterior recess, which is the most difficult region to remove earwax from. In addition, they've been using some hydrogen peroxide drops to try and soften this wax. And with the hydrogen peroxide, when it at least comes to when you're performing microsuction, I'm not sure about when you have your ears irrigated or syringed, but it turns the wax very mushy, very like, very much like mashed potato. It's the only way I can describe it really. Um, it's, it's very difficult to suction. So I've just put some olive oil spray in there just to soften and change the consistency of this wax. Now you can see on the right hand side the trauma caused by the patient. Uh, it's severely bruised, there was some active bleeding there. Now it will settle, but the patient's very fortunate. Now the patient's ear canal is quite bendy and once I clean the ear out you'll have more of a perspective of that. But that everyone's ears are bendy, it's like a, a, an S bend. Uh, so it's almost like a snake um, shape we have in our ear. And that um, curvature uh, of our ear, ear anatomy has actually potentially saved the patient's eardrum here. Um, so if this patient's ear canal is completely straight, the cotton swab that they use will go straight towards the eardrum. But fortunately, because of the architecture and the, the curvature of the ear canal, um, it is actually the cotton but a swab hasn't been able to make direct contact with the eardrum because the canal was in the way. So instead of traumatising the eardrum, uh, which would have been not very good, it's traumatised the ear canal, which is obviously still not great, but you'd rather have a bruised um, ear canal than a, a bruised eardrum. So our ears, um, there's two bends. There's one about half a centimetre into the ear canal and then another further, another further half a centimetre in. Uh, and then after that, the ear canal kind of does straighten a bit, although it does widen and narrow, but the curvature more or less straightens. And then there's a, a third uh, narrowing uh, and bend very deep in the ear called the isthmus, about a half a centimetre away from the eardrum, where the ear canal narrows and it widens back out again. And when it widens back out again, there's a little alcove, what we call an anterior recess to the right, and typically uh, an inferior recess, or so like a trench, a basin, at the floor of the eardrum and the patient has managed to kind of force the wax into the anterior recess so you can see the back part of this patient's eardrum but we can't see the front part of the eardrum because that wax and the ear canal curls away so i'm just using a fine end suction probe here i'm trying to release this from the uh, the the alco the anterior recess but it's very difficult because the ear narrows here quite a lot and i'm worried about the front part of the ear canal we don't want to make contact with that so um, just put some more drops in as well, just to change the consistency. And you will see in a moment, um, I am going to bend the fine end. And by bending the fine end, we can gain access into the alcove uh, without making contact with the front part of the ear canal. So the inner two thirds of the ear canal is very, very sensitive. Um, it's literally a thin layer of skin, less than 0.1 millimetres in thickness that adheres itself, lines itself directly on the bone. There's no fatty tissue or cartilage there, so the bone is very much exposed. And if you make contact with the bone, uh, it will be painful. So that's why we want to be really, really gentle when we're working in the inner 2000s. Now, if you look at that suction tip, you'll see the bend there. And that's enabled me to get better access. With, and you can see the, the, the body of the suction tip is away from the front part of the ear canal. And the olive oil has also helped, it's binding that together. So I managed to remove that from the anterior, so we can see the whole eardrum now. Now there's bits and bobs around the ear canal wall, so I'm just going to hover over. If it comes away, brilliant. If not, I'm not too concerned. Uh, the patient can hear significantly better now, the hearing's restored. Uh, the ear is obviously very painful upon attending because of the trauma, and we don't want to add to that. So I'm just hovering over these pieces of wax. If it comes away, brilliant. If not, I'm not too concerned, it's not significant, and a bit of wax is actually good for us. You can see it's not really coming away, well, a little bit came away, and sometimes we've got to quit whilst we're ahead. 
So you can see the patient's eardrum, that's fully visible now, it's no trauma to it, and that bruise will fortunately heal. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys, and the moral of the story is, um, stay away from cotton buds, uh, cotton swabs, whatever you want to call them. They do far more damage than good. Keep well, um, stay tuned, and remember, be nice and be kind to each other. Thank you, bye.